Over the years, we've had many players come over from Japan and many successful ones at that. Hideo Nomo, Ichiro, Hideki Matsui, Hiroki Kuroda, Daisuke Matsuzaka, Yu Darvish, Masahiro Tanaka, and more recently, the modern-day Babe Ruth, Shohei Otani, who won the MVP in 2021, along with Saya Suzuki, who had a decent first year in the majors last season. There's a couple more big names that you might want to keep in mind, though, and that's Kadai Senga and Masataka Yoshida. Let's take a dive into each of these players. Let's start off with the one that seems to be getting a bit more buzz so far this offseason, and that's Kudai Senga. He's been trying to get to the majors for a while now, and probably could have been here a bit sooner if it wasn't for his team's strict policy on players being posted. It looks like this year could be the year we see Senga finally make that jump, though. In over 11 seasons and 1,340 innings pitched, Senga has posted a record of 104 and 51 with an ERA of 2.42 and striking out 10 batters per nine. For comparison's sake, that was more than Daisuke Matsuzaka, Yu Darvish, and Masahiro Tanaka, who were known for striking out a lot of hitters in Japan. His strikeout skills were on full display in the 2017 World Baseball Classic when he struck out 16 batters over 11 total innings. It was 2019, though, when we saw Senga really make that jump as he increased his average velocity from anywhere from 92 to 93 to 96 on average. In that 2019 season, he also threw a no-hitter against the Lot Marines while striking out 12 along the way, and he also won the pitching triple crown that year, posting a 2.20 ERA and striking out 11 batters per nine. So what makes Senga so good? Well, the one thing to know with Senga is this guy throws absolute gas. He consistently throws his fastball in the mid-90s and can pump it up to 100 if need be, with his highest velocity being recorded at 101.9 miles per hour. However, it's not just the fastball that makes Senga so successful. He also possesses a forkball that has drawn the nickname as the Ghost Fork because of how it just disappears under the barrels of the hitter. In 2022, it was actually the hardest pitch to hit in Japan as it drew the lowest contact percentage among all pitches used across the league. He also possesses a curveball, slider, splitter, and cutter. While Senga hasn't had too much of a workload in Japan and has dealt with some injuries with his elbow and ankle, scouts in the majors feel that he should be able to handle the higher workload as he's shown he can keep his velocity high in the late innings. At the least, scouts think he should be able to be a valuable reliever in a team's bullpen. Many teams could use starting pitching and will show interest in the righty, but the teams that seem to be the most linked to him so far are the Cubs, Blue Jays, Mariners, Padres, and Red Sox. Now let's talk about Masataka Yoshida, who could end up being a headache for pitching staffs all across Major League Baseball. Coming off a Japan Series championship in 2022, along with a walk-off homer in that series to help tie the series up at two games apiece, it's expected that Yoshida will be posted for Major League Baseball teams. Known for his high contact and bat control abilities, as well as his superb plate discipline, he's been one of the best hitters in Japan for quite some time now. Overall, in his career in Japan over seven seasons, he's hit 326 with a 419 on base and a 538 slugging, along with averaging around 20 homers per season. He hasn't had a batting average under 300 since his rookie season in 2016. He's also been one of the best at getting on base, as he has more than doubled the amount of strikeouts he has over the last three seasons in walks. Over the last three seasons, he's struck out only 97 times while he has walked 213 times. On his way to a Japan Series championship in 2022, he led the Nippon League in on-base percentage with a 449, while also hitting 336 with a 559 slugging along with 21 homers and 89 RBIs. There are a few teams that could use someone like Yoshida. One team that has jumped out as a possible suitor for him are the New York Yankees, even if Aaron Judge ends up staying. Other teams that could use an upgrade in the outfield, especially in left field are the Giants, Padres, Rangers, Mariners, or maybe even the Angels. Both Senga and Yoshida are going to be very interesting options this offseason, and both could end up being next up in a strong line of successful players coming to Major League Baseball 
from Japan.